that's already gonna get me. Like that in and of itself is already gonna get me. That is insane exposition. That is insane. Whereas the only woman I want to see is my wife who's here in Chicago with my daughter and newborn son. I need to be in and out of this story, quick. Uh, that's it. Yep. That's all you get from me. <laughs> this does seem like it'll be like a fun thing. I can like it, I can, I can like it, I don't know. But the deal hits so good. You guys, there's been such an unnecessary amount of construction going on outside my building for the past all summer. Oh, that's so loud. All right, I guess I'm gonna wait for them to shut the frick up, so. Okay, the construction stopped and I need you to look at Felix right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you my baby. Okay, so I have to update, but honestly, maybe I'll just let you look at him. Maybe I'll just let you look at him. This will be a faceless reading vlog. <laughs> So, hey guys, I kind of figured I'd do a fun little weekly reading vlog right now. I should probably change this angle. He might leave if I try to get up though. Why are you yelling at me? So let's chat. I think I am actually going to do this, which I wasn't expecting. The last thing that I read was Shawshank Redemption here, which I have, but I also have it here because it is from this uh, novella collection by Stephen King. And I figured I might just want to read one other story in this and then see if I want to read all of them. There are three other stories in this. There's Shawshank Redemption and then there's Apt Pupil, The Body, and The Breathing Method. Okay, the breathing method sounds so weird. And then the body is four rambunctious young boys venture into the main woods and in sunlight and thunder find life, death, and intimations of their own mortality. That is the story that inspired Stand By Me and I've never seen that movie. So Loki, I might read that. I love this though. So first of all, I love this edition of different seasons. I actually think it's really cute. I don't know. I like the cover. I like the vibe of it. The little intro pages for each novella, each story, which I think is really cool. This is Rita Hayworth and Shawshank Redemption. This is Hope Springs Eternal. And then the body, which is Stand By Me, is Fall From Innocence. I might start reading. I just wrote the literal first paragraph of the body and that was kind of crazy and I think I'll probably try to read it. Also, it's broken up into like sections. So that first paragraph is the first section, like literally just one. I might read this. The most important things are the hardest things to say. They are the things you get ashamed of because words diminish them. Words shrink things that seemed limitless when they were in your head to no more than living sighs when they're brought out. But it's more than that, isn't it? The most important things lie too close to wherever your secret heart is buried, like landmarks to a treasure your enemies would love to steal away. And you may make revelations that cost you dearly only to have people look at you in a funny way, not understanding what you said at all or why you thought it was so important that you almost cried while you were saying it. That's the worst, I think, when the secret stays locked within, not for want of a teller, but for want of an understanding ear. I was 12 going on 13 when I first saw a dead human being. It happened in 1960, a long time ago. Although sometimes it doesn't seem that long to me, especially on the nights I wake up from dreams where the hail falls into his open eyes. I think I'm gonna read this. I think I am actually, I'm just gonna sit down and read it. I love, because I know what Stand By Me as a movie, even though I've never seen it. I don't know the story really of it at all. I just know that it's about young kids, but it being fall from innocence. That's already gonna get me. Like that in and of itself is already gonna get me. Let's just get into that. I mentioned this already i did but like there's so much construction going on outside my building and it's so annoying so good morning it's the next day now it's wednesday i went on a little run this morning first little thing that i want to mention is i told you i'm reading the body i've been reading it on my kindle because i do still have the library copy of different seasons from reading shawshank and when i started it i still feel this way about stephen king's writing where there's just something that's like kind of a little hard to get into because he just 
he packs so much into every single sentence so his writing is kind of like dense in a way where it's not necessarily like complicated but i feel like he's just saying so much that it fatigues my brain a little when i'm getting into it but i'm at a point now i'm 40 something pages into the body so this is the beginning of the body and this is how far i'm in i am and now i'm definitely into it i mean i was into it in the beginning like i read you that little paragraph but since then i've really enjoyed some of the other things he's written and said as well there's stuff about it that's surprising me honestly so far it feels like it without the horror which i've never read i've seen the movies so but it gives me those that dynamic those vibes of these young boys these young kids in 50s 60s in a small town um i'm enjoying doing this but i want to pick up something else as well i will let you know and we will see what this week brings us hello it's thursday the next day again i worked last night and it was so slow at my restaurant i'm so tired right now i think i'm starving though it's like 9 a.m and I, it's 9 30 and i need food but i read a bit more of the body yesterday when i was at work which could be because it was slow i just kept wanting to like pick up my phone and read it because i have it on my kindle so i'm reading it on my on my kindle app but i'm really enjoying it like i just it just feels like nostalgic like stephen king has a way of writing he just makes me feel like i was a kid in the 60s and that i experienced this life with them and the way he talks about like summer for them and just this journey that the characters are going on is so interesting and there was one scene with a train they were on a railroad and it was so tense like it was so tense because the train was coming so literally reading it, I was like, I need I need to keep reading. I need to keep reading. Like, I know they're not going to get hit by the train, but like the way he's writing it was so captivating. I couldn't stop. So I'm enjoying the body a lot. And then another thing is that my mom ended up buying me my own copy of Shawshank. So I'm probably going to go into this and like underline the things that really stood out to me and annotate a little bit. Yeah, I might go to Trader Joe's because I kind of actually have no food and i am hungry but there's so much construction going around going on around my apartment that like navigating this area is so frustrating and i don't really feel like dealing with that i'm gonna keep reading uh the body and for some reason i'm like randomly in like a bit of a romance mood i was looking through my kindle library and i opened up the deal and then i started reading the first sentence i love the deal i don't read a lot of like sports romances or new adult romances like that kind of genre of romance but the deal hits so good so I like want to read some romance, but also I'll like try to read romance and I'll be like, I don't want this. So I don't know. But yeah, just wanted to let you know and let's annotate this. So random but I am just like in the mood to binge read something 
or like I just feel like sitting down and reading something stupid and silly goofy and fun no not my reading list I want my library no no my library please thank you I just brought icebreaker okay so let me close the window I brought Icebreaker and Wildfire from Kindle Unlimited, even though I don't think I would like those books. But as you saw, I just went to Barnes and Noble and Daydream has been like intriguing me so much. I think it's just cause the cover's really cute. Like I think the cover's so pretty. I love the color scheme of it. And I've been hearing good things, but also it's not on Kindle Unlimited, like just the first two, which is an interesting choice. But I borrowed a few other things. I don't know. I just feel like Loki reading something silly and goofy. So I also have Mile High, but I've heard that Mile High is not that good. I've heard good things about Mile High and the Windy City series, but I've also heard that Mile High is kind of a little long and then the other books are better. I just want a book to give me the same feeling that the deal did. Like I want to read something silly, goofy and so stupid, but that I like, like that I'm just like, I literally, like I read the deal in like a day and then after I read that I read seven off campus books in a week. I literally was reading a book a day in that series. And I just want something like that again. Like, I don't know if I'll ever experience that again. That was literally like three years ago. I've tried starting Mile High multiple times. Icebreaker, I feel like has the closest chance for the deal, but it's just cause it's hockey and it's very smutty, but I've heard so many things about it that I'm like, I don't think I would like this book. I don't know. I'll do Mile High. Mile High, they're like adults. But it's 490 pages. I want something that I can binge read. Like, should I just try to pick up the second book without starting the first book? This is so difficult. This is so difficult for no reason. I don't know. I have an hour and a half until I have to go to work. Which should I start? Should I try to start Icebreaker or should I try to start Mile High? Okay, I always like to do this thing when I can't make a, de a decision. Or like, if other people can't make a decision because I can't do it for myself. Is I put out my two hands and then pick one option for each hand and then have the other pick of the person pick. And then if they're not happy with what they get, then that means that they actually want the other one. I don't know, I'm gonna do it with a coin. I only have pennies. All right, heads is mile high, tails is, what's the other one? Icebreaker. I don't really remember how to flip a coin. I'm just gonna throw it. Oh, okay, that did not. I'm just gonna throw it, catch it, flip it. Is that tails? I'll read the first cha chapter of both. I'll read the first chapter of Icebreaker and then I'll see if I want to continue it. <laughs> I doubt it. I kind of doubt it. I kind of don't know if I want to read about college students and like 19 year olds. I'm just going to start with Mile High. <laughs> okay, we're just going to start with Mile High. This one's like, it's like a lot though. Like it's long. That's the only thing and it literally says like nine hour average. <laughs> This writing's already a little. <laughs> mm, literally the literally the beginning of the chapter, Xanders, who I guess is the main dude, is talking to his friend Madison and saying how he loves road games and Madison hates road games. And Xanders is like, you hate them for the exact reason why I love them so much. And Xanders just says this, as if this is natural conversation. Why? Because you have girls lined up waiting to see you in every city we visit, whereas the only woman I want to see is my wife who's here in Chicago with my daughter and newborn son. That is insane exposition. That is insane. Whereas the only woman I want to see is my wife who's here in Chicago with my daughter and newborn son. That's exactly how you talk to your friends. I'm saying this when I love the deal! The deal he- in the deal? In the deal, Elle Kennedy literally has her character saying nah with two A's all the time and I literally still gave that book five stars. I don't feel like I'm reading from a guy's perspective. Oh my god, the only thing about this is it's so much easier to read than Stephen King. Like my eyes are just like <laughs> Oh my god. He has a note? He has a note in his notes app for all the women in the different cities that he goes to describing who they are. Oh God, oh God. I feel like I could have fun with this, but like not in a giggling for the actual romance. I might hate this man. Ew. <laughs> Ew. We just met the main girly, the the FMC as people say. And she gave him attitude because he wasn't paying attention to her little flight attendant thing, which I like, the, I like the concept. I like that she's a flight attendant. Like, I think that's fun. But he wasn't paying attention to her and he was being rude and she gave him attitude. And then he just said, 
She might need a reminder that she's working for me, but I'll make sure she understands. I'm petty that way. I'll remember that little interaction for as long as she's on my airplane. This does seem like it'll be like a fun thing, like her flying around with a hockey team. That's like a fun concept. I can like it. I can, I can like it. I don't know. Also, I'm really enjoying the body, but for some reason I just like, I want to just like read something easy while I'm also reading that, you know? We just ended the chapter with a moment with Xander's where I was like, <laughs> okay, maybe. And then we start the next chapter in Xander's point of view and I'm like, why are you talking like this, bro? I'm 200 pages into Mile High now. It's the next night and my battery's dying and it's not focusing on me. Give me a second. 200 pages into my... 200 pages into Mile High now. I read a bit of it last night and then I read a bit more this morning. It's just so easy to read that I'm having a time with it, but I can see how it's long. I'm not even halfway through and I'm almost ready for it to be wrapped up. I just like don't even understand how this book is gonna go on for another 200 and something pages. Like that's a lot of time to go into this. But I'm not like not liking it. It's like fine. I, it, the writing is very on the nose with a lot of things that I'm like, stuff is just like so like so straightforward to a point where I'm like, you didn't have to spell it out so clearly to me. Uh, everything is just told to us, not shown with like the characters, the relationships with other people, the trauma and stuff that they've been through. I think the thing with some of these romance books is it feels like a lot of the time the authors just want the characters to be a certain way so they kind of work backwards and figure out what could have gone wrong in their childhood that would make them this way and it's just so exact there's like not a lot of nuance or layers or depth to it it's just like they were treated this way when they grew up and they feel this way now and they are angry and upset about it but there just isn't a lot of depth to it where it just feels so surface level and one dimensional it like feels like the characters are trying to be these complex people with these deep emotions and there's more to them than just what's on the surface and that's why the two of them fall in love with each other but it's just so but i'm gonna sit down now and read before going to sleep i'm hoping to have this done by like Sunday. It's Friday night right now because that's the thing about romance books, especially romance books like these I cannot be reading it for too long. Like I need to be in and out. I need to be in and out of the story quick uh, That's it. Yep That's all you get from me. I'm gonna sit down and read now. Oh, this is another thing that I forgot I like Stevie as a main character as the lead female, but she is such a She doesn't say it she doesn't say it at all, which I think is like, it's the saving grace of this whole thing. But she is such a not like other girls girl. She drinks beer, she watches sports, she eats burgers. And that's fine. You know, it's okay. She can be that way. It just is a little, it's like a personality trait that she drinks beer. I don't know why it's so important to her character. Maybe it's just the writing is not weaving it in very well where it feels natural. I literally just swiped the page and was surprised oh, and was surprised to see that the body ended. I don't really know how I feel about it. I kind of was hoping for at least a little bit of a good cry just because I got that from Shawshank. Like, obviously that doesn't mean I'm going to get it from this as well, but I feel like people say Stand By Me is really sad. Or not a sad movie, but it's a movie that makes people cry. And I do want to watch it now, but I don't really 100% know how I feel about the story. I think there are a lot of things that I really, really liked about it, but as a whole, I don't think I really 
loved it that much or even really liked it that much i appreciated a lot of it but i don't really know what i think about it i didn't really care for gordon as like a main character i don't know i appreciate a lot of the stuff that he talked about in this story but i just don't i don't think it did too much for me i think the movie could i'm really really curious to watch the movie so i might watch it some point soon but don't have time to watch it now i'm going out tonight for my friend's birthday and then i'll read more of mile high at some point i'm still not 50 percent in i didn't read that much last night we'll see about when i finish it As you probably just saw, I, well, first of all, I have breakfast, but I decided to pick up another book. So as you know, I finished The Body yesterday. Still pretty mellow, pretty mid about my thoughts about that story. I think I'm gonna watch Stand By Me soon because I ended up talking to one of my friends yesterday about The Body and Stand By Me because he loves the movie, but I think I'm gonna DNF Mile High. I like went to pick it up last night before going to sleep and I just could not fathom <laughs> sitting with it for another 200 pages. Like it's not a bad book, that's just too much more. Like I can't, like what else is there to say? So it was fun while it lasted. It was what I like wanted, but I knew it was too long for what I wanted. But I ended up starting another book that is very full vibes and like kind of, I think what I put kind of wanted but i wasn't expecting it to entirely be what i was planning to read next i guess and that's hollow heathens it's on kindle unlimited but i started it last night and i didn't make it like far in but i was highlighting i don't think this is gonna be like a new favorite or anything like that but i was highlighting it's a very fall it's a witchy book like it's about witches and this town called Weeping Hollow. But so far it's just like super atmospheric. It is so unapologetically fall and I love it. Like I am kind of in the fall mood, but I feel like I haven't really been ready for it 100% yet. I'm ready for the weather to start getting cooler. I'm loving the cool mornings, but I'm really liking it so far. I think she's the author, whoever she is. I think she's really good at the atmosphere and the vibes like i'm fully like sucked into the environment that she's creating for me and for the story i don't think it'll be a favorite just based off of like some things that aren't necessarily perfect like this is definitely gonna be like a romance like a little witchy fantasy romance vibe thing and the love interests like met already in the first chapter like it wasn't a fully official meeting but they had a little short introduction conversation together and i already was like i don't i don't think i'm gonna like this romance not that i'll, I'll like it but i'm not it's not like the way that i want a romance to unfold you know i'm just gonna keep reading it but it's fun she's a witch she didn't know and there's this town looping hollow that is just like stuck in time kind of they like said that that they're like stuck in time but there, it's kind of like a forgotten town in a way. Like people can't really get into it or access it easily unless you're from it or you have a connection to it. And the main character does. So the beginning of the story is her going to the town. And it's August, but they're still decorated for fall. It's giving like Halloween town vibes. And that's fun. So 